In Colombia, our correspondent Charles Parkinson has been talking to people about the advances being made in the peace process and calls to reach a quick conclusion. The 30th cycle of Colombia's peace talks came to a close on November 3rd, with victims taking part in the negotiations saying that, having come so far, both sides owe a peace agreement to all victims of the conflict. The statements came at a time when calls were arising for a quick resolution to be reached, but on the streets of Bogotá, many people urged caution over trying to end the talks too soon. To arrive at an agreement because of outside pressure or to arrive at an agreement because of specific political interests is really not a good idea. Now what is needed is a common fund that can help in the reconstruction in many areas during a post-conflict era, as well as to provide reparations to an important part of the victims. Those words come while Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos continues a trip around Europe, where he's garnered widespread support for the process. Peace expert Carlos Medina Gallego welcomes that support, but says it must also take the form of financial backing. To arrive at an agreement because of outside pressure, or to arrive at an agreement because of specific political interests is not really a good idea. The negotiating teams will begin to meet once again on the 18th of November, with the fifth and final victims group set to take part in that 31st cycle. The support being shown for the peace process is palpable on both a national and international level, and so are the advances being made. Charles Parkinson, Telesur in Bogota, Colombia. And thanks to Charles.